This is five methyl cytosine. This five methyl cytosine during a spontaneous mutation process undergoes deamination. Deamination to produce a thiamine. And the structure of thiamine is as follows. Here it is, the wild type of DNA having a methylated cytosine that is M stands for methyl. M stands for methyl. This methylated cytosine generally best pairs with the guanine of another strand. Now, in case of spontaneous mutation, when this methylated cytosine undergoes deamination, deamination, the new strands will appear like this. This is the five prime, three prime, the five prime. Prime is these two strands are generally anti parallel to each other, and this after this deamination process, this uh, methylated cytosine will, uh, will produce here the thiamine, and the thiamine generally best pairs with this G or Y. So, after the deamination process, this is the newly formed DNA or newly formed mutated DNA. This is the newly formed mutated DNA. And this newly formed mutated DNA then undergoes the replication replication and will produce two new DNAs so these are the two new DNAs formed after replication the first one is the mutant DNA and this mutant DNA has generally TA base pair thiamine best paired with adenine and the second one is the wild type of DNA DNA having the CG best pair as we have discussed previously that the wild type of DNA undergoes deamination to produce newly formed mutant DNA if in any case the newly formed mutant DNA if undergoes the base excision repair base excision repair then it will form again the wild type of DNA and there will be no chance of forming any mutant DNA if you want to see videos like this then please like subscribe and share to my channel thank you